In today's video, we are going to learn how to create a Flutter blog app. So this blog app will have different functionality, being it uploading the data to Firebase cloud storage, fetching the data from there, showing it to the user in a list view. We are also going to use some different uh, functionalities like streams to give a better user experience by loading the data uh, or synchronizing the data of a list view to that of available on the Firestore. So let me show you the demo of the app, which we will be building in the series of videos. So this is the app. It is called Flutter Blog. And uh, it, uh, as you can see, it, uh, this is the home page, which includes a list view of different blogs. The blog have image, title, description, and the author name. So you can see we have multiple blogs over here. We can click on this floating action button and it will show us this screen. From this screen, we can click on this icon and we can select an image. For example, let's select this image. Now we can give the author name. So for example, if I will give it mine, we can also give the title. So, and then we can give it a description. Okay, then we can click on this upload icon. It will load. As you can see, the icon is also not visible when it's uploading. And once it's done, it will be redirected back to the home screen. Now, if you can see, this is actually, where is it? Okay, so this is the one which we uploaded just right now and it's directly reflected over here. It's not <laughs> a pre uh, already happening thing. We have to add this by using something called streams which we are going to discuss in the upcoming videos. But for this one, in this particular video, we are going to connect our app with the Firebase database. So yeah, let's dive in and connect our app with Firebase. So first thing first, we are going to visit firebase.com. Okay. You just need to lo log in and I'm going to use a different account. For example, this one. Now, if you already have some projects, if you go to go to uh, console over here, you will the projects will be visible. If, if not, it will be something like this. Uh, and uh, yeah, so now you can click on add project and you can type blog app. OK, and click on continue. Now you can click on continue. Just select an account default account for Firebase. And it's going to create the app for you okay so in the meantime i haven't actually created a new app so i'm going to do so through the terminal so i'm going to just type in flutter okay caps lock is on <laughs> flutter create let's call it flutter blog okay Till that being created this is done so we can click on continue now as i said we will be connecting both for android as well as for ios so first of all let's go and do for android so first thing first we will require the package name so where is the package name as the app is done okay let's open it up new window let me close this increase the size of this a little bit okay so open up the folder and let me open my Flutter blog, click on open. Once it is done, then you just have to go to the Android directory and then to the build.creator. Over here, if you scroll down a bit, you can see the application ID, which is exactly what you want. By the way, guys, if you are going to upload the this app to Play Store, make sure to change the package name. Com.example will not be or cannot be uploaded to Play Stores so yeah now click on download google service.json i have already done that for some <laughs> you can call it practice um and basically let me call it live and click on save okay so we have this uh, now we should make sure that we are not giving it some other names than this okay so now as it says we have to copy this or you can just move it 
and then paste it okay I don't think that works like that where is it yeah so now it is in the app module that's exactly what we want to do you can see in the app click on next now it will ask us to add this dependency and as it says do we have to go into the project level build dot gradle file so this is the app level build dot gradle and this is the project level build dot gradle file it's asking us to add this in dependencies we have done that next we will move and apply plugin google services this will be done for app level build dot gradle file so we will just go into this apply plugin and add this over there then we are going to add this analytics we are not going to be you know using a lot of this this is just basically to make sure we have something so that's what we are going to do now we are going to save both of these and it's majorly done now since i am using this emulator i am not going to confirm this or show this i'm just going to skip this step but it's for most chances it is connected now let's do it for ios by the way guys if you are not uh, if you don't have a mac you're not able to use xcode or something of that nature uh, you don't have to connect it beforehand you can do that after as well i think so it will not be a big deal you can just follow us just after this is done okay so for opening it up first of all i will go to my home directory and i'll select the flutter blog ios <coughs> excuse me so now in this one if i will click on runner okay this is the build uh, or bundle identifier so i'm going to select it all go to register app and click on register app okay so it's going to register that for us and then it will provide us this google service dash info.plist we can save that and show in finder or explorer now we will be opening up the xcode click on this runner folder inside that and click on add files to runner now we are going to drag this over here and select it and click on add and hopefully it's done to see if it is just visit this open up the ios directory runner and in there you'll find google services info.plist done so this is uh, done now what's the next step so if you're doing this for the first time then you can do pod dot in it and pod dot install i have already done it you basically have to just copy that go to the terminal and paste it and run so it's not a big deal you can just enter and it will do all the things for you this is not something we have to do and it's all done so to check if it is we can actually go to this and let me close this and this and this and open up the main.dart file and run with dart and flutter so hopefully we are going to see this connected okay so it is successfully done and if we will go back to this we should um, see the right check okay it's not a must but it's just better <laughs> let's wait for one second or two okay let's just skip this step okay so we have finally connected our flutter blog app to firebase for both android and ios in the next video we are going to see how we are going to upload the data for the post as we have seen in the app we have the section of uploading the data to firebase database we are going to use cloud storage specifically so yeah make sure to check out the next video if you like this video make sure to hit that like button make sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll make sure that the good content will continue to flow thank you